My name is Michael Enti, a political blogger and journalist, and also a media innovator. I think, in, especially in China, uh, we have a digital boundary to prevent the citizen to have access to the free internet. Actually, even we have this 650 million internet users, but still we cannot access like Facebook, YouTube. But we also set up the copycats of this website so that the, the government allow Chinese internet users to, to use our own like Weibo, WeChat. So satisfy, satisfy their need, but not necessary to get free internet. I think the company censorship, sometimes they do the censorship because the market share. For example, if, if a company want to have a internet services inside China, they should uh, you know, obey the ruling rule of uh, regulation of Chinese government. They should put the server of users' data inside China. This already become a compromising. So this is a censorship because this should accept the censorship rule. Even you are like the American company, like Microsoft or Facebook. It's an American company, but they delete my account because of censorship. The, the uh, differences is um, one company censorship is for the market share. Um, the cost of a user when you're facing the censorship, you are, you are no longer become, um, well, you, you cannot be served by the company. Basically, you can also uh, turn to another services because if we have a market, one company censor you, you can turn to the other. But government censorship is more seriously because the, you are no, have no alternative. When they shut down your website in one, side, in one country, that means you have no hope to set up another block.